why do I feel like I'm always giving and not receiving love money time understanding energy I feel empowered and blessed that I've grown to be a mentally strong individual capable of offering my help but I feel a constant energetic emptiness now that's about the replenishing mode we're going to come back around to that some days are better than others that's always true isn't it some subjects are easier than others some people are easier or harder than others some memories I want to understand why even though I'm happy to share love and energy and my time and provide for my family I feel drained and alone so first we want to address the drained part and then the alone part they're kind of the same thing but not exactly we've been talking to you a great deal through these Abraham now broadcasts about the receiving mode which means being in alignment for what you're asking for mode the receiving mode is the replenishing mode so if you are continually asking and continually expecting if you are asking and expecting to see some sort of results then you continue to be replenished and you know that you are in the replenishing mode because you feel emotions that feel like ease they feel like enthusiasm excitement when you feel passion or excitement you are really in the replenishing mode because there's a lot of demand and supply happening at the same time the fast moving moment that has you feeling all energized think about it when you say I feel energized that means you feel energy flowing to you and through you the demand is calling it through you and because of whatever's going on with you your lack of resistance feels energized you feel energized which means you're not pinching it off you're not wanting and doubting or wanting and blaming and so when you describe what you've just described it's an indicator to us we think you'll feel it too as you hear us say this that there have been times when you've been in the absolute allowing mode where as people are asking or expecting or they're just plain co-creating with you and you are a cooperative component where the flow is so steady even natural that it's just delicious it's like dancing with a really good dance partner where each of you understands the moves and the indicators of the other and so you're flowing together in such a nice way so when your family or whoever it is is asking of you and you feel like that that means most of all and it's the only thing that we ever think is very important you're in sync with you who's asking and what they're asking for is a much less relevant part of this conversation but if you are feeling tired or low energy or even more resistance that is indicated by negative emotion in other words if you are more resenting what is being demanded of you then you are happy in your cooperative component mode then you've got the flow pinched off pretty well but you're still going through the motions of giving and as you go through the motions of giving without being in the replenishing mode doesn't take long before you really get into that place of resentment or that place of feeling like others aren't doing their fair share we would like you to reach the place where rather than keeping track of who's doing their fair share it's like splitting up the pie of prosperity and thinking that it's a finite pie that others are getting more than their fair share and we've been saying to you it isn't like that the pie is exponentially growing and it's growing in accordance with the asking of all who are part of the equation and so there is never a reason to feel shortage 
And this is an energy pie. The other one is too. But we would like you to think in terms of rather being in competition with those around you. Well, I did this much and so you should do that much. To instead let your relationship be between your demand and your supply. Now there's a little trickiness that goes on there, isn't it? Because if you feel like others are demanding of you or asking of you, and you're letting that happen, but you can't keep up with the supply, the demand may be coming from someone else's expectation of you. It may be coming from your own expectation. We want you to know that it is a natural desire that is flowing through you. And that that demand and supply, that asking and receiving, that's what your work is. Never mind who's asking. The question is, how are you feeling? Are you keeping up with your supply? Because we have not said this to you before. And it's really a wonderful way to begin here today. Sometimes it feels to you like you're performing because someone else is demanding of you. But we want you to know your negative emotion is much more often because you have a desire that you're not supplying. Now you might say, oh, well, that desire is not really my desire. I'm wanting to please another. And we say, still, it's your desire. So supply and demand is about asking and receiving. And that's what your question is. Why do I feel like I'm always giving and not receiving? Because for some reason, you're pinched off from the infinite, eternal flow of energy and clarity and all manner of stuff. Why do I feel like I'm always, that's an exaggeration, giving and not receiving? So here are some tips. You're in competition with those around you. Who's doing the most? How'd that get started? Well, as humans, you're very comparative in nature. How'd that get started? Well, a big part of it is because you came here to observe and to decide to find your own personal desires in all of that. Well, then how did it get wonky, Abraham? If we came into a system knowing that that's how it works, then how did we get out of whack? Primarily, it's this. You're too interested in what others are doing and not interested enough in your own supply and demand. If you could not feel competition, it's astonishing sometimes how in relationships you actually feel competitive instead of cooperative in your world where every desire is answered and yet you feel shortage consciousness because you don't understand how it works. But you are coming to understand how it works. You said, I feel empowered and blessed. And we say, sometimes you do. But not when you're feeling like you're always giving and not receiving. Giving and getting. Getting and giving. Everyone is receiving or set up to receive. So why aren't you getting it? That's the question that we want to stimulate within you. How is it possible when you ask it is given that you're not getting? How can that possibly be? Why are you blocking what's being given to you? Well, there's lots of reasons and we talk about them incessantly together, don't we? A lot of it is competition with others. Shortage consciousness. Misunderstanding of the system. And here's the big one, not feeling worthy. You said you feel blessed, but that can't be. You can't feel blessed without feeling worthy. And you can't be consistently feeling worthy and feel like you're not receiving. And here's the big piece. You're looking to other humans for the resources that you want to receive when it's an inside job. Oh, yeah. Others can be cooperative components. Often you're very nice to each other. It's your favorite way to feel. But it is from source energy that you receive clarity and energy, vitality, and all resources that you seek. Right down 
to the money that you deposit in your bank account. It's all about your alignment between you and you. So let your competitive nature, let your measuring yourself against others, let that be what it is meant to be, your step one moments, but let it be brief in comparison with the other. Let your step one moments be one or two or three or four hour at most 5% of your day. And let the rest of your day be about your awareness of what you're doing, about your getting, your receiving, your replenishing.